Volkmer, <laughs> Volkstermer, whatever the name of this gun is, the Volk. And I'm feeling a little under the weather, so that's why it's like taking me a little bit to put this out. But man, <clears throat> it's been it's been a rough couple days here, not feeling so good. However, we're still gonna put this video out. And we're gonna make great clips with it. <clears throat> so now this gun has an incredibly fast aim down sight speed, like insanely fast, and. I remember when we were grinding the camo for this, is like, I wonder what stock is going to be the stock I'm going to use. I think it's going to be the, the S12 PS stock that will be the overall stock that I'm end up using. Now, for whatever reason, I mean, you're going through ammo really quickly. Obviously, like, hit your shots, but I would say running the fully loaded is probably going to be your best bet here. Gives you a little bit more ammo to run around with. Or if you're dropping, like, as, instead of running Deddy. You could just drop the, the ammo crates like literally no recoil with this class setup uh, like none at all and you guys will see it when we use it like it's it's super easy to use it's super great with the long shots because it is an ar up close and personal like it's got great hip fire it's got great recovery when you're trying to run around the corners and time to kill are both very impressive with this weapon so i think you guys are going to do really really great things with this class that appeared up and you guys know how we do it here one of the things that I struggle with the most is obviously controlling recoil at long range uh, with anybody who plays this game or even sometimes short range grinding the weapons when you're unlocking things like sometimes weapons right out of the gate have no recoil and you could just tell this is going to be a really great weapon or they have a bunch of recoil and it's going to be holy crap I can't wait to put attachments on this. This gun was not like that at all like right out of the gate you're using it you're like man once I get some quicker attachments on this this thing could be a monster and it absolutely is. So let's get into the breakdown of the Volkstermer, <laughs> Volkstermer, whatever the name of this gun is, the Volkstermergerware, Volkstermergerware. So we're going to go with the Mercury silencer. Um, the reason why I don't use the MX silencer is, I mean, aim down sight versus damage range. I really, I don't know, dude, like you. It really just depends on you on what mercury silencer for me and all the weapons that i've been using have been to go to with the carver foregrip uh the krushnik 428 millimeter 05 b barrel is what we're using fmjs of course as the ammo type we're going to go with the stippled grip tape stippled grip tape is always the go-to uh the reflector you can, or optic excuse me i went with the slate reflector you can literally go with no reflector if you'd really like to the iron sights are really great on this but having a little bit of a better optic on it that gives you I feel like especially it gives it like a little flair to the weapon but also it really helps to have something with a dot on it that you can trace the enemies you know with you're following the person anyway but like it helps to put a like a dot on it sometimes proficiency will be steady this definitely helps with that aim down sight recoil uh, just holding it especially while you're getting like shot at uh, the stock will be the curse neck 12 VPS stock I think it just stands for padded stock and the ammo type is going to be the 7.62 Bornick 30 rounds. Um, fast mags, not a lot of fast mags this year. I would like to have seen like a fast mag, like 60 round. And I tried the 60 round. I mean, again, you might feel like, oh, this is a better option because you can just sit there and pray, uh, spray and pray, excuse me. And it's an AR. Even with slide of hand, dude, like I don't even notice anything with slide of hand, honestly. It feels like there's like no slide of hand. Um, and then the kit, I'm going to go with fully loaded. I've been noticing that this one kind of running through my ammo a lot and having to pick up like in some of the clips I'll provide too. I'll like be running around with this gun, get like four or five kills and I'll be done. I have no ammo and then I have to pick up another weapon. So I'm going to continue with the fully loaded uh, kit or I might change this around. And if I do change the ammo type and find that, um, you know, the, the 60 rounds are better or you guys might like it better. I just feel like overall movement, speed, aim down sight time, time to kill, like this gun, exactly how it is with this setup here. Like this is what you guys are gonna be wanting to use, absolutely. It's insane. We're gonna get to making this video, but look at this thing, it's like Loved it. I loved using this and it was really fun again to do the camo grind for this. Send.
hate that streak. Every time you hold it, it just takes forever to get rid of. I'd play more patient, probably been a better game to watch, a little bit more entertaining.